back in the Shwamagon Nicolay National Forest. And we've come here because this is a site of where uh, depredation occurred on July 10th against a bear hound that wolves killed. Uh, and it's largely caused by the baiting that takes place in this area. This is the closest we can get to the depredation site. But we set a camera up to see uh, who's coming by and visiting. And we set cameras up at other bait sites too. So we're gonna check those cameras and see whether we've gotten any wolves visiting uh, these bear bait sites near this depredation area. that sound. I'm not videotaping you, I'm videotaping the dogs. We just want to show, you know, we think Wisconsin's hound training laws should require a license. Baiting should be limited to require registration. Uh, and hope you guys are safe and the dogs don't get hurt, you know? Anyhow, have a good one. A bear hound the Schlemmigan Nicolay National Forest. I've never been to this area before so uh, we just started heading towards the actual depredation site and noticed the obvious bait trail so we're gonna look and see what this is like and um, yeah so it's definitely a bait site and looks like it's been visited recently. And once again if you're not familiar with Wisconsin's Department of Natural Resources bear baiting regulations are pretty much non-existent. You're allowed to bait bears from April until October. You can fill bait sites with five gallons of food or grease each time. And you don't need to register your bait sites. And there's no limit on the number of them that you can have, such as this one in the National Forest. This is the problem, folks. Feeding the bears. It's a no-brainer. This is what's causing the conflict with wolves in Wisconsin. Not wolves themselves, but human behavior, such as feeding the wildlife that's attracting bears and wolves and other animals, and then releasing dogs in the area, which are then killed by the wolves. That's why.
was we waited till training season began in July and we watched to see where the depredations were occurring. And now it being August, we've come to two of those sites, one in Forest County, where a bear hound was killed on July 10th, and this location yeah, where a bear hound was killed on July 15th. And in both instances, we've documented a heavy amount of bear baiting going on in the area and uh, evidence of wolves visiting those baits. This is the big concern here, is, is that the intentional feeding of wildlife, whether it be by recreational users or by hunters, is causing conflicts. It's, it's creating these feeding stations, not just for bears, but for deer, raccoons, wolves, coyotes, crows, a number of other animals come and feed from these sites once bears have tipped over the five gallons of bait and spread it everywhere. And that in turn is attracting other animals. That's altering the natural behavior of animals. And uh, let me remind you that the DNR's own research concluded that 40% of a black bear's diet in northern Wisconsin is human food, is bear bait. So that's what needs to end. Bear baiting. The intentional feeding of wildlife. Please.